I woke up this uh, morning and um, these words appeared. Um, so I had to make, when I said I have to, it's very instantaneous. When the words appear, they make sense, you know, the, the explanation comes. And so, you see, when you know everything, and that sounds very egoistic, you see, but when you have full knowing, which is not every single piece of information, about this whole universe and the universe beyond it and the universe beyond it and animals and nature and insects and mind when you that's not full knowing you see that's mind intelligence you see there is a difference between full knowing or knowing and mind intelligence mind intelligence is a learned thing from past or by exploring and analyzing and dissecting and using words from past. So when these words came, there was an instantaneous knowing. But to so that mind can understand, because they don't come in the knowing of mind intelligence it is something that is within that is shown or given so i had to sit down and write out a way of trying to describe what 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 was happening and the, the words that came were, were or simple um, in the sense that to find vocabulary words to describe was basically life purpose or our fulfillment of being here what is it that makes us feel that we have experienced fully fulfillment total fulfillment you see that is our purpose to be here, is to totally be fulfilled. At the end of this body, it should be that, you know, I ticked every box. It's been great. It's been absolutely one roller coaster, beautiful paradise. And then the, the question is, is instantly answered using other sensory methods. So I wrote down this few words. Status of conviction to seeking truth. Status of conviction, which means whatever you are in life, whatever you reach, whatever your status, whether you're a king or a pauper, how much riches you have, status, Conviction means I'm going to be purely disciplined towards a religion, towards a faith. I'm going to be convicted towards being a good boy, following the Ten Commandments, right? So seeking a conviction, status or conviction to seeking truth is not a fulfillment of life for you, the individual. <clears throat> Let me tell you what it is then. The sole purpose, the sole purpose of this is simply tasting reality, which is ultimate knowing. So this reality is not a thing. It is not a form. It is ultimate knowing. Complete knowledge. That is your sole purpose, is to taste this you see so how do you do it how to do it well if you remove first thing you have to do is remove tasting because tasting is a form of seeking 
tasting means you need to try this out before you can make any judgment on it you have not experienced it so you want to to, to undertake an action to fulfill this you see so how can you taste this fulfillment this ultimate knowing without doing anything you see that's the big question how can you experience fulfillment of reality ultimate knowing in this body without doing anything can answer you see no person can answer no mind can answer very simple remove everything remove everything remove status remove conviction remove person, remove mind, everything that is associated with past and future, remove, remove every thought, every action, every memory, every need, every desire, and simply be it. So you're not looking for this ultimate knowing this reality you are becoming this ultimate reality so it's like saying i don't know the child in the classroom you don't have to teach me anything i'm not here to learn i am you see it's that big-headed child in the school you know the one with the you can't tell me anything that i don't already know see so i don't want that parents say you're going to name we're going to name you john i don't need john i already know my name so you're throwing away casting aside everything i don't want it i've put up with it for so long and i don't want it anymore i don't want anything i don't even want to know this ultimate knowing i don't want to seek it I don't want to taste it. I just simply don't want it. I want to be left alone to be. To be it. You see? You are looking for what you already are. But you are not it. With all the baggage. You see? Yeah? It's like going to the airport with the suitcases. Leave the suitcases at home and go empty-handed and see what happens. You know, what's going to happen? You're going to die? Are you going to freeze to death? Are you going to be unable to shave? Are you going to be worried about your body odor because your deodorant's in the case? Are you going to be worried about your camera? What are you going to do? See? I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. <clears throat> and the whole problem with anyone understanding this is human. It's a human problem. You see? Not one human understands the true meaning of being. Not one human understands the true meaning of being. Now how can that be? How can a human 
not understand the true meaning of being. What's the problem, you see? You know, humans are of high intellect, you see. We can look up the dictionary and see what the meaning means. No, you see, human is mind. Human is mind. Human, 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 human. Man, mind. Woman, mind. Every identity, mind. So mind cannot understand its master, you see? Because it came second to master. <coughs> so how to be how to be, you see? Only being understands what being is. Human mind being master. Being witnessing mind. Being knows mind. Mind knows outward. Father, mind does not confront the master. It teases the master, you see. Mind teases you every day, giving you options of what to do, you see. But you think you're the body, mind. So who are you that mind is teasing? Who are you that is this master, this Spontaneous being. You see, being, seen from a being's point of view, is simply to be. No movement. Be. And whatever happens, within or without, is not your doing. It is not your concern. It is nothing to do with you. It is here so that you, this being, can simply be and witness everything in front of you and within you. So for your life fulfillment, you're already fulfilled. It's only appearing as if mind said no I'm not fulfilled you see mind says no I'm not fulfilled no I want to see more out here you see I want to see much more truth is out here you see I can't turn around and face you you're my master and I'm terrified of you because I know you're gonna say fired and that's what you have to do you see you don't have to seek you don't have to prove, justify, have a certain status. You don't have to fill your life with religion or faith or mantra. You don't have to move. You don't do anything. You just realize that you are not any of this. Not anything that you have been taught. Many other minds used to say to this body, you are a person, you have a name. And I believed that's what, what that was what I was. But I was only told that, you see. Information. We are all informative minds. But beyond this, is simple being. Peace. Freedom. 
bliss. When seen in its purity, everything that comes and goes in front of this being, see, when I say being, you're saying a form, no, in front of this being, this state, this being is a state of peace, of stillness, of tranquility, of infinite love. That is your true state. You can see everything with no mind, as a pure reflection of yourself. The mirror has been removed, you see. It has been cleaned and polished so that it is so pure it is gone and you become what you see. And what you see knows what it truly is. The fulfillment of life is simply being. No human. Human is human. Human being. See? Man, form, appearing as, not true, appearing as, being, living. Being is life. And life has no boundaries, no afterlife, no before life, all encompassing infinite life. You are an infinite being, but not a being, you see, you are infinitely being. You don't have to taste what you are, you don't have to see what you are. You don't have to know what you are, because you are what you are. Everything is exactly the same, from the same point, the same path, the same being.